So you guys are finding each other, huh? Yeah, I guess so. All right, cool. I'll stay. I'll keep the top of the podium warm. Here we go. So mine is uh, Colossus from the X Men, who is armed with a Vorpal blade. Yeah. So the wall explodes, and Colossus comes charging in because he just ran straight through the wall. He draws this sick blade off his back. Has a Vorpal blade that can literally cut through anything. You enter. You get into the ring. Yeah, and I know. Suddenly... He's, and Colossus is waiting there dun, with his sword. Dun, 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 dun. It's the King of the Cosmos from Katamari Damacy. Bust through with the diamond sword. With the diamond sword from Minecraft, which is not one of, it is the most. Okay, Vorpal Blade would cut through a diamond sword. Vorpal Blade would, when it makes contact with the diamond sword, would probably cause some weird geospatial effects around it as well. It's nothing that the King of the Cosmos would be troubled by. He's pretty big, if you remember from the yeah, game. He's pretty big. This guy, guy is pretty right. much filling up the entire stadium, I don't think but that's okay. He sits and leans over the he ring. He kind of comes crashing through the building. Like this. So he's sitting like this, and he's. And he's sitting over the ring right there with his diamond sword, like this. So is the diamond sword the size of him? Or is it it's normal scale. diamond sword? It's the scale. Okay. That would make sense. That kind of doesn't make sense, because you picked a character so large that he wouldn't be able to hold a sword, because there's no sword that big or, or diamonds diamond that big. Sword. Since uh, we're dealing with a video game character, usually the, the weapon model scales to the avatar. <laughs> That could so. be argued, but okay. And then, as Colossus is pumping his arms as a sword, getting ready to fight the he most intense fight of his whole life, he remembers he like, that he also makes. has a chainsaw for a hand. Oh, is, is he making that one? <laughs> he's, he's making that sound from the, the game, the, the arcade game, though. That's the thing. Like, yeah. As the ref's about to count it off, King of Colossus busts the one <laughs> oh ring God. onto his <laughs> finger. And he turns invisible. And the fight begins, D. Right. Yeah, the floor is yours. This is what Colossus does. Because he's pretty sure that you're gonna turn invisible the second you put that ring on, he does his move from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, where he grabs a person, but instead of grabbing a person, he grabs a sword. He starts spinning endlessly. So if anything comes in contact, his blade will slice through whatever it is. And that's what he's gonna do. Immediately as the fight starts, <laughs> Ring goes on the finger. Sits there, looks Sauron in the eye. Takes his diamond sword and says, Sauron, you and me, baby. Immediately, he swings the sword down at the spinning Colossus, flicks the ring into his breast pocket at the same time. Becomes visible just in time for the crowd. Crash! A single blow with the diamond sword straight across, which is pretty much, imagine to scale this is across like the entire stadium. Like pretty much a majority of the crowd has been eviscerated by this attack as well. Okay. Honestly, the Vorpal sword, it looks cool. It's got like a bunch of like, you know, visual things going on with it. But frankly, I don't think it's better than a, a diamond sword. I think we're, I think, we, D &D terms I think we've been overselling this one. You know what, Sam and I vote. Sam? Wait, before you vote, let me read what the D&D &D Vorpal blade is. Uh, upon a natural 20, the weapon severs the opponent's head from the body. Oh. I'll let you roll a D20 to see if you sever his head from his body. Okay, so if I roll a D20, <laughs> I got one you chance. You got one chance. Here, here it go. comes, D. Show, show the king of the cosmos what you got here. Come on, Vorpal blade. One. Oh! oh! That was nice. close. I'm voting for king of the cosmos. Oh, man. Dun, dun, I dun, can't dun, Dang dun. it. So close. 19. <laughs> All right, I love that game. It. What you the hell? It. I, I want to play you that so much. Okay, so as you two, so you guys we... are facing off this last fight. Go ahead and pick whatever cards you want. The lights dim. <laughs> oh, and suddenly it's like that all familiar sound of flipping your favorite game, Halo One. The oh. music that plays. You see that? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. It's Master Chief, armed with Mjolnir. He's spinning it. He's twirling it. Uh, he's walking. He's walking his way. He's armed with it. So, dun, 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 all right, all right. Dun, 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 dun. And then so what you got? Gets into the center of the ring, pumps him up, and awaits his opponent. Okay, your opponent happens to show up on a cliff with all his henchmen around him. The White King from Game of Thrones. Oh, and I hate to break it to you, but he has Daenerys' three pet dragons. But just then. But just, but just then. then. But just then, as the ref calls it up. Oh, and I have a pet dire wolf. What up? The Enterprise, the roof lifts off. Oh, <laughs> Enterprise <laughs> pulls in. Wait, wait there. Don't you have to be Where's sitting in it to command it? Commanding it, I'm pretty sure he's like directing it, as in he's calling in the uh, hey, hey Jean Luc. Yeah. And he's like, Captain Picard. Is that what Picard says, or is that what uh, the USS what Enterprise? Said. So that, that's the thing. <laughs> so he goes, Captain Jean Luc Picard, you hear back. <laughs> you
so clearly this is, a, this is your classic good versus evil. And fortunately in this case, because this is very evil, we also have very good, proven by Mjolnir. Swinging it, swirling it at lightning speed. I mean, speed. that is a pretty good dire combo. Wolf, dire Wolf, Dire Wolf, even if he dies in, and I'll let you, know, let you tell me what that Dire Wolf does, but if he comes even close, that's a bonk. And the home run, that Dire Wolf is out of the park. He's gone. Three pet dragons up in the sky. Enterprise are now taking those dragons yeah. to pieces. No, 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 Clearly no, distracting there. No, no, meanwhile, no, 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 no. That meanwhile would never happen. I'm heading right happen. for the prize, which is the uh, the uh, the Ice King right here, the White King. And uh, Mjolnir would not be affected, I believe, technically by his sword breaking abilities because this is, let's, let's admit, Mjolnir's not going to be shattering anytime soon. Bam! Home run. Okay, Jaw dislocated. A little Gone. far right, with right. your hits. What, 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 Go ahead. First off, I would never let any of those hits land. Secondly, wait, how? How? We keep talking about the Enterprise as being a force of good. I clearly remember it crashing in San Francisco and murdering like thousands of people. Okay, but well, it wasn't the Enterprise. It's not, it's not, currently, it's not crashing. Ended? Is that how the movie ended? Because I'm pretty sure that you asked the Enterprise saved the day. So Master Chief's sitting there with a little dinky hammer in his hands. So so okay, only okay. the okay. hammer of Thor. Still just, a hammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and the Enterprise is floating above him. Big deal. Big deal, just the Enterprise. <laughs> so here's what happens. You're really downplaying what's going on the here. The whole white army closes we in. No, 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 no. You don't you have, have any the army. white king, you have, one you have character three dragons, plus these. and you have a dog. So basically, the dragons and me are real tight. Like, okay. I'm like sitting on one of them, the other two are right by me, and we're right by you because we're going to fight. Clearly, these dragons change allegiance so all the, the time, but okay isn't going to open fire with proton torpedoes on us when we're right next to each other, because that'll kill you too. You can have as much hammers as you want, and the Enterprise can be as big as you want, because my dragons are just going to blow fire at you and burn you alive. He's Master Chief, yeah. who has power armor with shield, and he has Mjolnir, so he can fly around. Faster yeah. than your dragons can fly, by the way. Yeah, you fly when you hold it. Uh, you're you're going to have a real hard time so convincing I'm, me that any I'm of not, these things could withstand a straight I mean, blast from the yeah. phasers. I would never get blasted by the phasers because I would just stay in the spot where you're in the blind spot of the Enterprise. Well, you, just, you can only shoot in front of it and behind it. You can't shoot right below it. Uh, yeah, you can. Again, the phasers are again, omnidirectional, earlier, and it's got dozens and dozens and dozens of phasers mounted in every position on it. The U.S. Enterprise, isn't. The, I'm, not even, I'm not even really using that to target you right now because I want you 100% just for me and my big boy, Mjolnir. So this is really just taking care of pet dragons. Honestly, the direwolf doesn't even factor in here because I knocked that thing yeah, clean out early on. If the Enterprise gets in trouble a little bit with these little fancy dragons of yours, uh, I could always just fly up and just quick, you know, give them a little one, two, three, knock them no, out. No, fire does hurt Master Chief. I highly appreciate uh, Master Chief you not giving up fire. immediately facing Master Chief armed with Mjolnir, backed up by the USS Enterprise. The Enterprise isn't going to do look, jack. You know, honestly, all what you're going to do. What do you mean the Enterprise is not going to do jack? Look, look, Shoot look, look. me the phaser, not when I'm right the next to him. It's going to kill him too. No, the Enterprise it, is the Enterprise. Yeah, yeah it's look, look, No, Nico, Nico, Nico. The Enterprise could win this whole thing without any shooting a single laser. Like, worst case scenario, it just you just hit up O'Brien over in the teleporter room and say, yo, I need these three people out of here and you just teleport him into space. Let me draw you my, my it's closing over. argument. Yeah, he could just you. teleport you to space and you could just explode in space. Let's throw this down. Like a Master, Master Chief, Chief of the Enterprise. Master Chief all the way. All I mean, beams out. you got a wolf to back you up. He got the like world's greatest starship. So Armed with the world's world, greatest you know, weapon. The world's yes, greatest weapon. Bridge. Captain Picard. I don't think he's the world's, he's the world's greatest explorer. Let's get straight. Watch out. Careful. <laughs> all right, it's up to you, Brandon. That's no problem. I'm donezo. Oh no, oh no. Sick. Oh shit. Sorry, Brandon. I fucked up. Oh my god, Alex. You're the worst. You're the worst. You're the worst, Alex. That's how you start the mission. I was looking.